Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my Victor two-stroke lawnmower which has a problem with its carburetor. Now the issue is that this lawnmower has become progressively harder to start and also when you prime the fuel bowl here, fuel comes out of the primer bowl. As you can see it's all got dirt on that fuel bowl from the fuel that has leaked out of the primer bowl. You see, already fuel is coming out of that primer bowl. So to solve this problem, I've purchased an aftermarket cap for the carburetor with the new primer bulb and a special little metal needle from a company called Veritech. I'll put a link in the description below to these products and you can have a look at those videos and you can see why I've purchased this cap. But basically it is precision made and this special little metal needle also solves a common flooding problem with this carburetor. In a nutshell, this magic needle which Veritech supply creates a perfect seal when the float bowl lifts the needle into position. Whereas the standard plastic needles that Victor supply and other aftermarket plastic needles allow the carburetor to overfill with fuel and consequently flood the engine. So let's try it out. Let's install this magic needle, the new Veritech cap, new primer bulb and the new O-ring and let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure the fuel is turned off. That's with the tap horizontal. We're then going to disconnect the fuel line, like that. And then we are going to remove the main jet, which is in the center of the cap. We are going to reuse that jet, so we'll just keep that to one side. We'll give it a quick clean up. I have some throttle body and carburetor cleaner here. So we'll just give it a bit quick squirt with that. and make sure that it's 100% clean. With the main jet removed from the cap, we can remove the cap carefully from the carburetor. Now, as you can see, we've got a float and the float is actually holding the needle in. Now this would be the original Victor needle I would suggest. As you can see here, a plastic needle. We're going to replace that with our magic metal needle. So comparing the caps side by side, you can see they virtually look identical. So we've got a new cap, new O-ring, and the magic needle. Now before I install these parts, I might just give the carburetor a quick clean, clean up with this throttle and body cleaner. So we put the new O-ring on the cap. And to ensure it slides on easily, we've just got a bit of silicon spray, put that on the lubricant on the O-ring. So we insert our new magic needle into the seat position. We're reusing the float, our original float. So we just slide that in like that. And then we carefully, we'll just hold that up, we turn it up. We've got to hold that float up as we insert that into the carburetor. Straight away, I can feel that's a really snug fit with that cap and new O-ring. So we're reusing our original needle screw. And we screw that up just firmly. Finally, we reattach the fuel line. And now we're good to go to try out the new cap with the primer bulb and the new magic needle in this Victor carburetor. So let's try it out. Turn the fuel on and we'll prime it up. All looks good so far. Doesn't appear to be any fuel, excess fuel leaking out of that primer bulb. Let's give it a pull. So there you go folks, with that new Veritech cap and magic needle installed, this lawnmower, which has been really hard to start and had been leaking fuel, started then on the first pull. If you've liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. In the future, I'll be doing more how-to videos on how to fix small machines, 
cars and all sorts of things around the home, including tech. So, as I said, like, share and subscribe and hit that bell notification to see the future video updates. Until then, good night.